So let's begin by understanding what are different machine learning types. This is the very basics of machine learning. And here we see that we have unsupervised, supervised and reinforcement learning. So all the machine learning algorithm out there, which are currently present, there are a lot of algorithm, there are sea of machine learning algorithm and every big company is launching their own machine learning algorithm. You might have heard about TensorFlow, you might have heard about the classic Bayes or naive Bayes algorithm, or even the ALS or matrix multiplication algorithm, which we are going to use. They all have a common underlying principle of how they are learning, but we are also going to categorize the entire machine learning into three types based on what are the data set they work on and how they work on. So let's take the example of supervised learning. Now in supervised learning, what we do is we create a simple function and this function is trained with the data set we already know. For example, if I have some of the event which has occurred in the past and the future will be based out of how the event has occurred in the past, then I can feed the event of the past and tell the machine that machine, these are all the event which has occurred in the past. Just learn from this data and you will find similar experience in the future and whenever you encounter anything in the future similar to the past experience, you tell me that what is going to be the output because as a human being, I have limited capability of my brain. So this is one type of machine learning algorithm which has been utilized a lot in the past and is also in demand. Now, one of the example of supervised learning algorithm I will give you is what if I want to understand if today we are going to have rain. Now, how can I do it? I will see what is my temperature, what is my humidity and what is my wind speed. So these are all three criteria what I have or parameter in technical terms, what we call it. And based on these three parameters, I need to understand if it's going to be raining and I should bring an umbrella. Now, how should I know to do that? Now, first thing is from the past data, I will feed the machine is when the humidity is very high and the temperature is low and the wind speed is less, there is a very high probability of raining. So I will feed multiple different data sets and see if this are the condition which resulted into rain. If this are the condition which resulted into the rain, sometimes it's yes, sometimes it's no and the machine learns it. Then it compares the new variation which we have and see will it rain or not and how the machine will respond. Machine will say I think there is a 0.0 seven, eight, one, two, three percentage probability that today it's going to rain. And we'll say that there is a probability of 0.0321, it will not rain. So these are some of the types how machine will be replying you to your question. Now those type of answer are more likely probability driven. So machine is going to say that what is the chance or occurrence or likelihoodness of the rain happening. So this probability, what you can see here, if you see that the probability is very high of today getting rain, then you do the necessary action of taking the umbrella with you to the work or any other action related to it. So this is supervised learning where we give data to the machine. We know exactly what is the format of the data. We know exactly what we are actually getting out in the output. We are getting out a probability of our event being occurring or not.